Hey guys, it's me, Sitija Monike, and today we're going to be talking about seven reasons to major in mathematics, and also three reasons not to. The first reason to study mathematics is because it's fun. That, that feeling of working on a really difficult problem and coming down to a solution, you know, boxing in your answer x equals whatever maybe, um, or just knowing what's going on in a math class is completely unmatched. Um, I would argue that one of the main draws of being a mathematics major is that it can be very, very rewarding. So right now, um, as some of you might know, I am going to be going to Cornell's Graduate School in Statistics uh, in the coming fall. So right now I'm taking a measure theory class online that's done by uh, IIT Bombay. And even though it's really, really difficult, to be honest, like probably, I mean, maybe the hardest math class that I've ever taken, um, I kind of look forward to doing it every day because even though it's kind of difficult, it's also like that feeling of actually solving a problem when you know it's a difficult problem is just, it's the best thing. So yeah, number one is mathematics can be very fun. The second pro to being a math major is that it's a well-respected field. Uh, probably like 90% of the time when I mention that I'm a math major to somebody, they say something like, oh, that's so hard or so difficult, I could never, whatever, you know? Uh, people in like, especially STEM fields, uh, have a really strong understanding that math is something that's very rigorous, it can be very difficult. So people generally have a respect or regard for people that study uh, pure mathematics itself. And that's probably not something that you want to base your decision of whether or not to be a math major on, but it is something to include as a pro of being a math major. The third pro to being a mathematics major is that the skill is pretty hard and concrete, meaning that potential employers know that you have the ability to do tough mathematical solving, and they know that you have the logical foundation to apply your uh, mathematical knowledge and mathematical way of thinking to new problems that arise in the workplace. So they know that with whatever training that you can probably pick up on these other ideas that are similar to mathematics. So that is definitely a pro of being a math major. It's that you gain these skills and this foundation of logical thinking that allows you to be uh, potentially attractive to employers. In fact, Vanderbilt University's Department of Mathematics website states that Employers recognize that if you can do math, you can do any job that calls for precise analysis and careful deduction. Sounds pretty good to me. Another huge benefit to being a math major is that when you sit in other courses, the mathematics comes more naturally. And what I mean by that is, you know, for example, when I'm sitting in a statistics or engineering course and I see the summations with some random integrals, some i, j notation, whatever, um, I have a confidence that even though this equation looks scary, it can't be much worse than the stuff that, you know, I'm learning in my own math classes. And with that confidence, you can slowly unravel what happens in the statistical equation or the engineering equation. And that's actually part of the reason why I personally am an applied mathematics major rather than a statistics major at my university, Texas A&M. Um, it's because that mathematical foundation that's set by being a math major allows me to then, you know, interpret whatever is going on in statistics much, much easier. And like, for example, this semester, me and my buddy uh, in this machine learning class, which is a statistics class, where we were looking at this loss function um, and I was able to kind of unravel it slowly uh, because I have that like mathematical foundation the mathematical toolkit to do so uh, from being a math major so I would definitely say that's a huge pro of t deciding to do this major is that classes in these other STEM fields come more naturally and you actually have the ability to break down what's going on mathematically the fifth reason to major in mathematics is that it involves logical thinking I was talking with my friend uh, Pratush, and he's actually going to be a PhD student at Brown University, which is very impressive uh, in applied mathematics. And we were talking about this today in a, uh, in a car ride. We were talking about how mathematics is rigorous and really it's kind of a way of thinking. It, it kind of actually, that's a part of mathematics that seeps into your daily life. It's the ability to think very, very logically and very rigorously. You know, when you take a class like analysis or some sort of intro to proofs, whatever year that you take it, you kind of unlock this new way of thinking that doesn't allow any room for 
uh, for any sort of wishy-washiness. All of the arguments have to be concrete, step-by-step, step. one implies the other. And that is definitely something that's very beautiful about mathematics and allows you to really sharpen your critical thinking skills and you know avoid logical fallacies and all this type of thing in your own daily life. So that is definitely another pro to being a math major is that you hone your ability to think very, very logically. Speaking of beauty, the sixth reason why you should consider being a mathematics major is that there is an inherent beauty to mathematics. My analysis professor used to say that mathematics is very different from the sciences because mathematics has testable definitions. There's minimal human involvement in the subject and there's something really beautiful about that because it kind of chips away at our reality just based on a couple axioms from the beginning. And it's crazy how complex mathematics actually gets in the upper level. And there's definitely an inherent beauty to that. Reason number seven. That was an actual mess up, but I'm gonna keep it in the video. Mathematics is very, very versatile, meaning that it can be used in, you know, the sciences, biology, chemistry, um, engineering, technology, most of these STEM subjects rely heavily on mathematics, meaning that, you know, you're getting a very important degree and you're specializing in something that's very fundamental to science itself. However, by the same token, mathematics is usually best paired with some sort of other STEM subject. Like a lot of my friends do mathematics with a double major or minor in computer science or statistics or actuarial science. And this makes sure that your concrete mathematical ability is actually used in a practical way. Especially for these industry type of jobs, mathematics as a standalone uh, major may be less appealing than something like applied mathematics with an emphasis in uh, computer science, computing, engineering, something like this. That's not to say that a degree in pure mathematics is useless, by no means is it useless. Um, mathematics is a very, very important subject as we've talked before through these uh, pros and many people do get degrees in pure mathematics. It's just that for some industry jobs, you might want to look at pairing mathematics with computer science, statistics, actuarial science, engineering, or some other subject. So that's definitely going to be the first con of studying mathematics. The second con that I want to mention is that there aren't too many jobs for pure mathematicians. And what I mean by that is, you know, in academia, it's kind of a highly competitive route to go as a mathematician. If you don't have some sort of hard concrete, you know, computer science statistics, um, some other background to pair it with. So that is definitely one drawback of being a pure mathematics major is that the job market can be pretty competitive. The final con that I would like to mention is that mathematics is tough. It can be a very, very difficult subject to study. You know, I've spent countless hours just looking at a textbook or looking at a problem, having no idea where to start, especially in real analysis or algebra type of things. But, you know, you eventually get past that. And the cool thing about mathematics is that if you just kind of chip away at it for long enough, then these things start to make sense. And that's again, tying back to the inherent beauty of it. Mathematics is really difficult, but it actually is super, super rewarding. Thank you so much for watching. I honestly really appreciate you doing so. Uh, if you have a comment, drop it down below and I definitely will respond to you. Um, these are just my opinions. Again, you know, I'm no expert in the pros and cons of mathematics, but this is just my subjective experience and subjective idea that I wanted to share with you guys. My name is Sitija Monagay. Thanks so much for joining me on this one, and I'll see you next time.